YouTube, what the crap's going on? Welcome to Medieval 2 Total War. And this game, I didn't give it a whole lot of credit uh, initially because I didn't like the medieval time periods and I was still very enthralled with Rome Total War, but this game had some very interesting features, some very nice graphics for its time, and uh, an epic soundtrack, really. And uh, what I want to do is um, show you all, whoop, let's head back here, uh, replay. Uh, where are the replays here? <laughs> Single player, grand custom battles, or no? Quick battle, no. Press the dang replays on here. Or load game, maybe under here. Yeah, load battle replay. There we are. Um, so yeah, I got to play an online battle. Uh, and by the way, Rome, the original Rome Total War Medieval 2 used to work on the GameSpy client, and they've actually updated it to where if you buy the Steam version of these, you can play it on Steam, and I actually think you can use your old version on Steam as well. So multiplayer is actually alive and well in both these games if you want to play it, and both of them are pretty fun. Uh, one thing I'd recommend, though, is if you're playing a newer Total War, you're going to have to be tolerant of the fact that one thing that really has improved in the newer Total Wars is the issuing of orders and the way that you interface with your troops. It is much better uh, in the newer ones. However, if you go into the game options, go into the keyboard settings. Uh, you can switch to this FPS style setup which uses WASD which is more like the new ones rather than using the arrow keys which is actually uh, pretty unergonomic if you ask me. But anyway, let's get back into that uh, that replay. Medieval 2 is a lot of fun. A lot of fun in campaign. And the multiplayer is actually pretty entertaining too though. It is a lot slower paced um, than what you're going to be used to in Attila. Um, probably more akin to Rome 2. Uh, there can be some serious grinds in this uh, in this game. Uh, Graphics-wise, though, it really is a, a, a beautiful game. Let me um, go ahead and... Uh, well, actually, it's just the battle setup here, so I'm going to hit the options real quick. Uh, we got camera rotation. We don't want to restrict the camera. And we'll go ahead and speed those up so I can get around quicker. Um, game options. Where's the UI? Graphics options, unit detail. Can't remember if there's a button that helps me minimize the UI up here. Well, whatever, we'll be all right. We'll leave the UI so you can see the uh, the map. I was trying to make it a little more cinematic. I want to say that there is a way to do that, but don't restrict the camera, stupid. Um, yeah, never mind. I, I can't do it from here, at least uh, not look around at what keys do what, but... Oh, keyboard shortcuts. Let's see what this is. Toggle sound. Uh, no. Crease. Camera movement. Camera speed. Rotate. Crap screenshot. Game speed, show help window, nah, none of, none of that's what I'm looking for. Just uh, hitting all these buttons over here to see if they do anything. Nah, can't find it, whatever. Anyway, I'm getting my armory all set up. Let me introduce you. I've got a Venetian army. Uh, I, I don't know that I'd ever used Venice. Uh, up front, I've got, and this was a large funds battle, so I've got um, upgraded uh, Venetian heavy infantry, which are wielding some kind of uh, pick. Or Warhammer, I don't know what you call that thing, but it's anti-armor. And uh, then behind them, I've got a big line, eight of these dismounted feudal knights, which are just solid infantry. On my left flank, I've got these uh, Knights Hospitaller. Um, again, all these guys are well upgraded because it was huge funds. And I've gone with the Rush Army because it was huge funds as well. Um, and then over here, I've got these Knights Templar. Um, so I've got eight knights on horseback. I've got eight knights dismounted, and then four of these Venetian infantry. And then my general is here in this uh, uh, general's bodyguard lancer cab that's upgraded as well. So uh, this map, I didn't want to meet my opponent in the center. I wanted to use this hill, and apparently my opponent did too. Because he actually has a whole bunch of units up here too. He's got some musketeers. And then all of a sudden, I can start seeing his units pop out as I get closer. He's got uh, these broken lances, uh, cavalry, so I move for an envelopment of his men, and I get a nice charge with several of my units, and then I'm going to immediately start supporting with infantry, and then I bring, I wheel these Knights Hospitaller around, and I get a nice charge into all these broken lances here. Uh, they are a little bit outnumbered, but again, over here, I'm able to just kind of blob infantry into this fight, and see, like, these Venetian heavy infantry with their good armor piercing are going to get up here against all these uh, well-armored horsemen, and hopefully do all right in that fight. The mainline infantry engagement, though, is going to take place in these woods. I bring my uh, Venetians in against a lot of his spear militia, and uh, Milan and Venice both have good militia units, um, but uh, in the high funds battle, I didn't want to go for militia units. Uh, down on this side, 
I haven't quite engaged yet. I'm bringing up my Knights Templar over here. And then uh, I've got my dismounted Feudal Knights running into combat with his own dismounted Broken Lancers. Um, so yeah, there's the Feudal Knights coming into combat, and then he's going to send more of these guys. And then I bring my, uh, my Knights Templar into combat against his mounted crossbowmen, who are getting some probably some nice shots at the moment. I didn't realize right away, but my opponent has a ton of these Musketeers. Though their line of sight is probably not going to be good. He does have some more Italian Spear Militia. But again, Musketeers all over the place, but this uh, this terrain did not end up favoring his ability to use these Musketeers to any great effect. Right now, he doesn't have line of sight. I do a quick charge on his dismounted Broken Lances, which are not um, probably not going to want to get charged. And you can see they just get murdered by the charge of my uh, massed Heavy Cavalry there. And uh, you might have just seen that shot there. That came from over here. He also has a Culverine, which is a, a cannon unit. So, yep, he's uh, got a lot of these late units. But, again, I just went for the rush because it was large funds, uh, knowing that I could probably overpower any handgunners or arc buses, musketeers, anything he wants to bring uh, to that effect. His uh, mounted crossbowmen are actually fighting quite well in extended melee uh, here against my own cavalry, but I'm reinforcing... And these dismounted broken lances are routing, and then these guys over here are fighting to the death and routing now because they see friends routing and they're getting outflanked. The main infantry engagement's going quite well for me. Um, it's definitely a fight kind of heavyweights through here. Uh, a lot of armored swordsmen basically going at each other, so this will be a fight that lasts quite a while. And then you can see my Venetian infantry get into this fight as well. They have a, uh, a little bit less defense than, say, like one of the uh, sword units. <laughs> you can see one of my guys getting stabbed out there. Uh, but they have more armor penetrating capability, which comes into play as the battle drags on. And this battle will drag on for a while. And over here you can see the grind out going on between all my mounted uh, Knights Hospitaller and his uh, broken lances. So, again, this game has some very nice graphics for its time, really. Uh, very nice. I'm getting into his uh, Musketeers over here. My guys don't get the greatest of charges, though, so this grind out will last for a long time, actually. Um, and you can see that I'm actually about to break through more musketeers, and I've I've shattered his cavalry over here. His mounted crossbows are dead, um, and then my own general has charged in uh, against what's left of his uh, cavalrymen, um, and we are routing out some mounted crossbowmen and uh, some Italian spear militias coming after us. Uh, but yeah, over here I've caught some more of his musketeers, so these guys are not getting the shots that they need to, and my uh, heavy cavalry is uh, keeping them pinned. He does have some more musketeers here, and he's probably realigning trying to get some shots, just give you a good look at these musketeers. Pretty sweet. Pretty cool looking unit, that's for sure. Only half the enemy force remains. So yeah, we've killed half the enemy infantry, uh, or half the enemy uh, force. Check out the sweet combat going on here between these guys. Medieval 2, I think, is where you first start to get some of these uh, blood effects and animations. Blood effects built in, actually, too. Very cool. You can kind of see like that rusty color going on in the guys. It's, it's not as gory as, say, like Shogun 2 or anything, but still a very nice... Effect. You can see my knights charging into combat here as they've been freed from elsewhere. And then up on the hill you can see uh, fleeing broken lance units. It was a Pyrrhic fight up here between our cavalry though. And it was the infantry support that saved me. And I get away with some of my cavalry alive, although my, uh, my knights hospitaller did take some pretty serious losses. His general got engaged with some of my Venetian, or sorry, some of my dismounted feudal knights, which at first they were not doing good. But again, over a drawn out combat they'll do okay. They just got murdered on the charge. Uh, by his bodyguard, but now they'll do okay. And yeah, I'm going to start trying to swing around with some of my freed cavalry. Again, it's all in the woods, so it may be a little hard to see, but my knights are very tired, and they're heavily armored, so they're, they're charging very slowly, but trying to get up here into more of these muskets. And let's see, I know at one point I bring in a unit for some rear charging over here, probably these units. But yeah, now I'm just flying down the hill with all my free infantry and knights. And we're going to basically get in here and just break what's left of the, uh, the enemy uh, infantry. It's a lot of musketeers, dismounted broken lances, and spear militia. And the broken lances have held their own fairly well, but I think they are probably outmatched um, uh, in the end here because I've got so many guys free. Oh, you can't hardly see. Yeah, here comes a few knights that I got free. There's only three of them left in this unit, but still enough to at least get a rear charge penalty inflicted on these musketeers. But one of them got killed, actually. The musketeer killed them. You can see this guy, though, back here wailing on these guys. Very, very sweet um, uh, units. I know you can actually use the... Well, I'll have to remember how to do it. With the uh, Total War setup, you could zoom in by clicking the mouse wheel. I need to see what that is. But yeah, the enemy general gets killed. My opponent admits defeat. And you can see that was a pretty big victory for me there. I was able to kill 1,408 of the 2,120 enemies. And those are the prisoners that we took out there. I lost um, 
637 men. It says he gets 750 kills, but some of your guys can actually recover from the wounds, like it calls him wounded. So anyway, I thought this was a fun replay. Uh, I'm not really used to Medieval 2. I'm sure I'm very newbie at it, but I thought this was fun. My opponent uh, picked kind of a, a scenic map and everything. I really liked it. I just don't know that his musketeers were a good choice uh, where they didn't have that open ground to get their shots off. Um, and then so my army just ended up overwhelming him uh, by sheer, uh, well I wouldn't say sheer numbers because he had more numbers, but I had more cavalry units and I had more infantry units because he had artillery and uh, muskets. Uh, so that ends up helping me in the end. Had it been a lower funds battle, I would have focused a little more on some skirmish power. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this quick look back into Medieval 2. Um, and again, this is another game I want to get some time in. Uh, what I'll be doing is uh, I, uh, setting up some live streams in the future. Probably another one, not this weekend while you're watching this, but the following weekend. Um, I'll set them up ahead of time on my channel, though, so you can come on my channel and look. And if I have any live streams scheduled, it will show you um, that they're scheduled. Uh, and you can see what time it is. And feel free to join. And of course... Uh, I'll make sure to announce ahead of time what we're doing for that week's live stream, but I do want to get back to a weekly live stream. It'll probably only be about 30-45 minutes long, uh, but it'll be fun. Let us jump into whatever game we want, play the battles the way we want, and um, also I might get into live streaming some campaign uh, occasionally so that you all can kind of tell me what you want me to do live. Uh, again, I have a new computer desk that's supposed to be here this week. It didn't show up. It'll be next week. And uh, just so you all know, too, I'm working on some other stuff. Uh, recently, I saw that Lionheart got sponsored, which is awesome for him, and they, they snagged him a gaming laptop. So for me, I'm working hard to get sponsored. I'm trying to find someone who will do it. If you all have any leads or you think you know someone that's interested, by all means, let me know. Um, but I am working on some leads of my own. Uh, eventually, if I just can't get a sponsor, I'll use some of the ad revenue that I have to go ahead and purchase a gaming laptop. And the idea there is so that I can, when I go on business trips or I'm traveling, which I have to do a lot, I can stay in touch and do some work from abroad and uh, hopefully keep up on things for you. But really the idea is I just want to be able to, to always keep delivering you all videos and, and like I said, I want to kind of step it up and have a little more involvement than I've been able to have recently. Hope you all enjoy the variety. Medieval 2 Total War for now and uh, who knows what's next. Eric Carthage, signing off.